Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Dan the Fixit Man. Got another quick video here for you. I'm going to show you how to change your front brake pads on a 2013 Toyota Prius V. The first thing you need to do is just get a screwdriver and pry between in this little window here. You can pry between the pad and the rotor, or between the pad and the caliper body rather. And if you just apply some steady force, that will push the caliper piston back inside the caliper. That's forcing the fluid backwards through the system. And that will allow some more space for the new pad material. You can see right now the caliper is loose. Next thing we need to do is take out these two caliper bolts, and those are a 14 millimeter. If they spin on you, there is also the slide pin. You can put a, an open end wrench, a 17 millimeter, to hold that in place. And they're not, they're not spinning, so we're okay. You can loosen and remove both bolts. That's what they look like. You can set that aside. With the bolts out of the caliper, you can carefully lift that up. Just be cautious of the brake line and just set it up over here on top of the rotor. Then we can pull out and remove the old pads. Of course, these are Prius pads. They don't, they don't wear down too much. You know, they last a long time. These pads started making some noise, so I decided it was, it was time just to put some new pads, fresh pads on there. And before I put uh, the new brake pads on, um, well, this little noise maker uh, came in the kit. We had to attach that. And then I just put this, a couple little dabs of this Sil Glide uh, brake lube or brake grease. And if you put that all along the backing plate, and at the ends where this will uh, go into the little retaining clips here, seems to keep it a little quieter. And we can just kind of put that into place there in the back. Same thing with this front pad. Just a, just a dab or two of this brake grease seems to be enough. And then I just put a really thin layer along the back and some at the ends here. And then we can just gently put that in here again, just lock it into place on the front. I got a little bit of that brake grease on the edge of that pad and I'll clean that off with some brake clean before I uh, put this together. It looks all right. If you're wondering, that's what this uh, Sil Glide stuff looks like. Um, I'll put a link to that. Uh, well, I'll put a link to the, my website along with some information how to get that stuff. But it really seems to keep brakes nice and quiet. And then we can now put the caliper back in place. And we can put those two bolts back in. Let's get them started by hand. And tighten those bolts. And you're done. Just make sure that uh, you tighten everything down. I'll look up the spec here before I put this back together and uh, I'll get that tightened down. I'll go ahead and put that in the description um, along with a link to my website for some other product information. And uh, just make sure before you drive off to uh, step on the brake pedal a couple times to push that caliper piston back out. And you're all set. Thanks so much for watching and good luck.